Over the years, I've made a lot of dessert videos on YouTube. Most of them have sweetened condensed milk in it. It's a fairly common ingredient here in Australia, but it's not so common all around the world. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own sweetened condensed milk at home with just three ingredients in a blender. Let's make some homemade sweetened condensed milk on the One Pot Chef. Let's make our sweetened condensed milk. Now first things first we need a blender. I'm using my fancy big Blendtec blender but you can use any blender you like. It doesn't have to be an expensive powerful model. Any blender will do. To that I'm going to add in one cup of sugar. I'm using caster sugar but any white sugar will do. And I'm also adding in two cups of powdered milk. Last but not least, one cup, 250 mils of boiling water. Just put the lid on and we're just going to blend until smooth. Here we have our sweetened condensed milk. This made two cups or about 500 mils of condensed milk, which is a little bit more than just your average can. But have a look at that. It looks a little runny, but that's because it's still hot. As it cools, it'll actually thicken up even more. But that is absolutely gorgeous. And that's time for me to have a little taste. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. If you've ever had warm condensed milk, it's a beautiful thing. And that is actually gorgeous. It is sweet. It's creamy. It's got that lovely sort of coats the roof of your mouth feeling to it. It's beautiful. And great about this is you can store it in the fridge. So anytime you need to use it, you can make a big batch of it out, keep it in the fridge until you're ready to go, and bang. So simple to make. And it's so much cheaper than buying it in cans. So this could be a great alternative and a great money saver for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. You can use this version of sweetened condensed milk as you would the regular stuff that comes in cans. So you can use it in just about any recipe you can think of. So, so good. And as I said, this is still warm, but you can see how it's thickening up as it cools. So... Once this is completely cool, it'll be just the same consistency as the stuff in cans. But you can see that. Look at that. Yum.